I don't even know what I'm doing. Mexican skulls? By fall, it's good content. Jesus Christ, she's heavy. <gasps> Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. This is part two of my room transformation or bedroom makeover. So today I'm pretty much gonna decorate my room. And yes, this is a very light video because I haven't been 100% lately. So for my bedroom makeover, I don't have a specific theme, but I do have a lot of fake plants and a new shelf to put in my room. I kind of want to have like a tropical type Mexican vibe. I have some ideas, but I haven't figured out where everything should go yet. So let's get started with my bedroom door. Okay, so here is the front door of my bedroom. It really doesn't look great. I have these colorful stick-ons from my 21st birthday and they were left over so I decided to stick them on my door. This is a sign that's been on my door for years. I can please only one person a day. Today is not your day. Tomorrow doesn't look good either. So as you know, my favorite artist is Frida Kahlo and Mexican skulls really represent Frida in my opinion. So this is the Day of the Dead masks, so I decided to maybe decorate my door with Mexican skulls, sugar skulls, so I think that would look really cool. It's time to go my good sign. The fun part is getting all this blue tack off. <sighs> okay, so I eventually got there. I don't know why I feel so exhausted. That was just like a lot of scraping to do. Anyways. So here are the three like sugar skulls that I really like. If I was brave enough to get a tattoo, I'd get this tattooed. And then we have this one. So now I have a bunch of skulls that I'd like to put on my door. So I started putting on the skulls and for the amount of like sugar skulls I got, I feel like that's a bit too much for a bedroom door. Okay, I'm just gonna leave my door like this for now. I find the door the hardest, I don't know. I think it needs like greenery since it's so like black and white, but we'll see. So here is the new shelf that I wanna put in my bedroom. At the moment, I have all my fake plants that I want to use. A few moments later. Okay, so for my mirror, I plan on adding like green vines around it. I think that would look really nice. So I got these vines from Spotlight. I'm trying to work out how to unhook this. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. And the great thing about these is that you can easily like bend it and shape it the way you want. So let's try and decorate. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> so something like this, I guess. Ooh, I think I like it. More greenery, looks much better. I feel like I should put a Mexican skull at the top there. I can't reach, I'm too short. <laughs> okay, so this bedside table, I do not want in my room anymore. So I believe my sister is going to have it. So we're gonna move it. Jesus Christ, she's heavy. All that dust, yuck. Okay, I'm gonna move it. So here's all the dust that it's collected. It's pretty gross and I'm now going to move this little bedside table to that side. Time to move this bedside table to the other side. Yeah, I better vacuum that up. It's so dusty. Mm -hmm. 
So this bamboo type shelf will go over there. And I gotta sort out where I want my big plants to be. Okay, so in the background, here are all my fake plants and some little decoration things that I want to put in my room. Some of you guys are probably thinking, why do I have so many fake plants? Why don't I put real ones? Um, one, I'm really lazy. I know that plants are easy to take care of. You just water them, but I'm forgetful at times. And two, fake plants, they can last forever. <laughs> content. <laughs> content. <laughs> My shelf is complete. <laughs> much, much, much later. Next day. It is the next day and this morning I went shopping. So if you watched my birthday vlog, I opened one of the presents from my parents and they got me a Duna cover. This is very bright and colorful. It's like Mexican Frida Kahlo type vibe to it, which I love. So at Target I bought black pillowcases so that can easily match. I also bought myself a yellow sugar skull. They had purple, greens, and blues. They had like so many other colors. It was hard to decide, but I decided yellow just to make my room pop a bit more since there's a lot of greenery. So this is what the skull looks like. It is beautiful to me. So I will place this somewhere around the room. I also got these fake flowers that I plan on putting into the skull. I just have to cut the bottom. So last night I did some coloring with a family friend and I think this would look really great on my walls. For my door I got this floral ring thing or like a floral wreath. I, I don't know the word for it but I thought I could hang this on my door. Also when I was decorating my room I realized that my theme is like Frida Kahlo inspired. It's also like tropical. So I'll show you what I got so far and I will continue decorating. I have a skull right on top and the vines over my mirror. These walls are really white. So I plan on putting maybe these skulls on the wall, but we'll see. So far, I have my shelf with some plants beside my bed. I also have one big plant there, the hanging plant, and I've got a, a long vine going on there. Put another plant up there. I've got like a little ant insect section. And yeah, I put out the fan. That's just some extra stuff that I gotta go through. A few moments later. Much, much, much later. There's wire in it. That's why I can't cut it. There is a dent on my finger and a red mark. <sighs> I'm exhausted. 
I swear, if you get that in one go, <laughs> I swear to... <laughs> oh, that's lovely. God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut my finger on Please camera. do not. I'm sweating. <laughs> So this is what the bed should look like. Sorry of the reflection. Whoa, this is amazing. And I got free cardboard. Wow. Oh, I like the inside. It's got like little dots, little squares, not dots. Oh. Which side's the top, which side's the bottom? I literally had to change my top because I'm sweating. Am I the only one? Whenever I change my sheets. Later. So here is my front door. It doesn't have much color, but I think the flowers make it pop. And I decided to put this ring thing upside down so it looks like a flower crown on the skull. That was also my family friend Allie's idea, right? So you've seen this plant. I've also put these black and white skulls here. I have like a little insect ant corner, which I may explain in future videos. In my closets, I have put a skull on each section. Here's my hanging plant, and this bedside table has the sugar skull, a candle, and the plant. And this is what my new Duna cover looks. I just love how vibrant the colors are. It's really nice and my shelf is full of plants. So my room transformation or makeover is complete. I am really happy with the result of it. It feels like a whole new bedroom, even though the furniture isn't new besides that shelf, but I just love the vibe. I feel like it's really good for my mental health as well, because my bedroom has been the same since I was 18. It is finally changed. It feels fresh and more green. I am very happy with it, and I couldn't have done it without my friend Allie, and you know who you are. Thank you so much for helping out. All right, guys, thanks for watching part two, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.